Hey buddies, uh, we're back here, it's Mr. Stem. <laughs> I can't even take that too seriously, but um, we're making a more technical part today. I got a little bit less energy than I did for the last video, so I'll probably be good, move at a slightly slower pace. I believe this one is called the connector, the, uh, what do you call this thing? Where is that even? This is the sketch of it right here. Uh, and we're the Automoblocks connector piece. You can pull that off the car and check it out. See what we're going for here. And then we can take a look at this uh, dimension drawing right here. I basically created this just using lines. I need to apply the fillets still. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's see. Where is my fillet tool? There is my fillet tool. This one is, uh, I believe, 0.1 inch. And uh, we're going to apply it right there. Thank you. You can note those tangent constraints right there. Good, uh, and then I believe we have a 0.5 and a 0.4. Yeah, so 0.4 and 0.5. Let's go ahead and put those in. Filet uh, point right there, uh, 0.5, not 0.1. Point zero, oh, was that 0 0.05? Yes, it was, 0 0.05. And then we'll go ahead and filet that one, 0 0.04. And I think that's good. So what I'm going to do now is use the mirror tool. Uh, as instructed uh, to create all of these things. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, where's my mirror tool? There we go. All right, so first thing you do, as you do with almost every Autodesk command, is what do you want to perform the action on? So I want to do this whole sketch, everything there is right here. Let's go ahead and click all that, select, and then the mirror line. I want to mirror, I want to mirror it over the... No, oh, I know why. Okay, so let's go back to our select and let's uh, unselect. Ah, uh, 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 okay. Uh, sorry. That just, you know, that was a little bit not annoying. Let's see if we could use this little trick right here. That almost worked. Will this work? Uh, no, okay. Select. Let's keep on selecting then. I'm going to select everything but the mirror line. And we'll hope this works. Uh, there we go. Okay, now we can select. The, oh, and you know what it was? I just forgot to click apply. What are you gonna do? It happens. All right, so you gotta click apply. Then you can click done. Now let's, as long as we're here, let's just go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and select everything up here on this top part. I wonder if I could do this. No, sketch. No, that's not gonna work. I thought maybe I could shortcut it in the browser, but I don't think that I can. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get all those parts. Yep, there's a lot of them. Right here, right here, right here. Grab our mirror line right here. Let's see if I could just get away with half of it. Sure can. All right, done. All right, now, now I noticed I got something funky going on here. What is that? Did I apply the wrong fillet radius? Point. Oh, I did. Look at that. Oh, no. All right, that is 0 0.05. Let's see, I believe when I change that 0 0.04, it'll fix it on there. And look, it fixed all the other ones too. Thank you for doing that, Autodesk. All right, let's go ahead and uh, finish the sketch. And let's see if we can extrude that. There we go, we can extrude that one. We can extrude that one. Uh, it's not letting me click the lower half. And I think I know why, because I made the part before. But the reason I believe why I can't do that is because I'm lacking constraints. I'm lacking this one right here. The coincident constraint for some reason when you do the mirroring doesn't take those constraints with you so anyways let's go ahead and not snap to grid right here hide all constraints and then let's go ahead and show all constraints and you can see there's a ton of constraints here um, mostly having to do with uh, this one whatever whatever one that one is what is that oh mostly symmetric constraint because of all the mirroring um, but what I'm really looking for is these yellow dots. So I'm going to just scan carefully through the entire part uh, using the tool, right, the hand tool right here, the pan tool. And I'm just going to look for anywhere where I might be missing a yellow dot. And if I'm missing any, then I'm going to go ahead and put it in. And uh, I can see that I'm missing one right here, right? If you look uh, up here, you got one right there on the top half, but then you zoom in here and it's missing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that coincident constraint. That is basically constraining the end point of a line onto another geometry. So it's helpful to zoom way in. 
I'm going to click on the end point of that line and then I'm going to click on that and it's saying it'll over constrain the sketch. So cancel. Let's see. Let's try it again. You know, let's see if we can just add that one. Sketch constraint already exists. So why is it not uh, functioning then? Cancel. All right. Where where is it? I don't get it. Um, what do I do? I tell you what, let's just do this. This is kind of a this is kind of a cheap trick, but you know what? It works and I'm just going to go for it. Let's grab our trim tool and let's just trim. Okay, we'll just trim that line down and then we'll just go ahead and add it. And we'll make sure that we see a green dot appear right there. And when I put that green dot in, that went ahead and added our coincident constraint for us. If you look at these uh, constraint settings right here, it says, uh, is this one mm, inter inference? Infer constraints, uh, coincidence is something that it infers. So in general, when you see that green dot, it's gonna infer the constraint. All right, so anyways, you can go ahead and come over here. Let's do the same thing. Let's trim that line away. And uh, let's add it back in there. All right, there we go. Did it work? Finish sketch. All right, let's see if we can extrude it now. One, two, three. But we missing one still. Okay, well, we made progress. No, we will take it. Let's see, let's go back to the sketch, edit the sketch, I'm gonna right click. Uh, oh, I'm always having trouble with this on the mouse pad. Let's see, let's go to edit sketch. Okay, so let's zoom in again. So now it's strange that I don't see it there and I don't see it there either. There's gotta be something strange going on here. Um, let's let's go ahead and turn off constraints turn them back on oh and now you can see yes it is there but it is not there so let's go ahead and trim again or let's see if we can add it on this side I don't my hopes aren't extremely high but we'll see what happens sketch constraint already exists let's see we can add it there to there we'll over constrain the sketch cancel all right we're just gonna have to delete it and re-add it not a big deal just go ahead and trim that away and uh, then we'll go ahead and line it right there, get that green dot and get on that green dot. There you go, got my yellow dot now. So now we should be fully constrained, which means we have a completely closed loop. Let's go ahead and see if we can grab all four parts. We can, what do we want our extrusion depth to be? To the depth according to your measurements. So you're gonna have to go over to the car on the table. You're gonna have to measure it and then you're going to have to extrude it that depth I uh, am just going to end the video by saying uh, 0.3 because that, no, that doesn't, you know what, let's do a, uh, just do this from memory, 0.4, let's go to 0.4, uh, go ahead and measure that, do what you do what you need to do there, um, let, let's turn it green, right, why not, uh, color that green, and we'll darken it up just a little bit, all right, good, there we go, ending the connector, thanks for watching the video, good luck on yours. And I'll end the video.